All right, guys, today I went to Chili's. I wanted to do a nice video talking about my trip from Texas with my sister. So these are, this is what this is. I wrote it down, Big Mouth Bites, like little burgers with honey chipotle chicken crispers. I heard a lot about this. Southwest egg rolls, and I think it has avocado sauce and ranch dressing. And this is um, molten chocolate cake. It has ice cream with it, hot fudge, and caramel. I'm gonna put this in the freezer, the ice cream part in the freezer, and then we'll start with this. All right, guys, and I also wanna thank one of my subscribers, Jennifer Douglas. Um, I think last year she gave me a $50 gift card, I think, um, for chili. I didn't use everything. So I had like $13 left over. So this is what I got for my $13. And ice cream or the dessert <laughs> let's try these sliders first they look so small but so cute and what's in here it's a burger some cheese caramelized onions oh there's bacon doesn't have much sauce but i might add some ranch or ketchup <laughs> all right gotta take the first bite mmm Good. Wow. That burger is so juicy. Um, really good quality. Mmm. <laughs> Pass of ketchup. See if this adds anything to it. They're small but really good. Mm. All right, that was really good. Um, a little break, but I'll try these crispers. Right, plain first, and then with the sauce. Let's add some ranch dressing to it. A little spicy. Mm -hmm. A lot of sauce on here, but really good. Mm. Oh. A lot of sauce on the bottom. Oh, this is really good. Mmm. Yeah, highly recommend this. Like high quality food. Mmm. So these are really spicy. They're so good. I don't know if I'll get them again. They're so spicy, but they're so good. Now these Southwest egg rolls. I heard a lot about this. Let's try this out. Black beans in it, corn. I think you're supposed to dip it in this avocado sauce. So, try that. The avocado sauce is really good. These could be more crispier, but um, oh, these are also a little spicy too. This avocado sauce is really good. Mm. I'm gonna try the ranch dressing a little bit, see what that adds anything to it. These are spicy, really spicy. Wow, mm. but really good. I 
All right, guys, let's talk more about my trip and how everything went. Everything went great. We can start with the airline. I took American Airlines instead of Southwest. So I normally take Southwest. I do think I like Southwest better. Let me tell you why, but let me just try Let me just go ahead and try this burger with some of this ranch. See if that adds anything to it. Okay. I think I like ketchup butter, but this is a really good burger. Very ju juicy, very moist. Have you guys ever had these burgers before? Like, um, chilies? I thought you recommend them. Really good. Hmm. Anyways, as I was saying, I think I like Southwest better because um, bags are free. Um, so American Airlines, you do have to pay a bag, thirty dollars each way. Also, I had to pay for my seats, about ten or fifty dollars each on each way as well. And I really like aisle seats, so I had to pay extra for that. On Southwest, if I check it early, I can easily get a, an aisle seat. It's no problem. Another thing I like about American Airlines, I don't know if it was because I checked in late. If you guys know why American Airlines does this, or I'm not really sure, but I was um, boarding number, I think it was number nine, which is the very, very last. So I just was just sitting around waiting for, waiting for my number nine to board. And then by the time I boarded, we, we soon went, was able to, you know, take off. And if you want, I wanted to text my sister more and it's just, it was just, I don't know. I just wanted to board early. And so if you want to board early, I don't know if I would recommend American Airlines, but um, like I said, I don't really know how they, my first time ever taking American Airlines, you know? So from San Francisco, going to Texas was about three and a half hours. Um, my back was four hours. So I decided to get an iPad. I didn't watch any movies. I just didn't really feel like it, but I just downloaded some stuff on YouTube. I'll just listen to some music. Did some journaling on my back. I edited, edited some video and footage on my. I took my phone. <laughs> when I first saw my sister, I was I was just like blown away. I could not believe how bad her house was. Um, I just can't believe it took me so long to see it. <laughs> it's crazy. And my mom's been in her house two at least two or three times, and she's always said I would just really relax here. And um, my sister Darlene made me some really good meals. She made me some white chicken chili, which was absolutely my favorite that she made out of the three. But she also made an oatmeal, oatmeal blueberry bake that was really good as well. And she also made kind of like a Chinese Asian dish. I think it was called Korean beef. So it was like rice with ground beef with like a mixture of soy sauce, I think garlic and ginger, rice and broccoli on the side. And that was really good as well. So if you guys want to see like that recipe or the white chicken chili, which was amazing as well. <laughs> so good. She added like chips, um, avocado, um, cilantro. There's corn in there as well. Sour cream and cheese was so, so good. <laughs> Yeah, I had, had a really relaxing time. <laughs> so the first day we went to Bucky's, did some filming there, and um, got some snacks. So the next day we did do like me and my sister filmed a snack video. So that that I think should be up already as well. Um, we also did a water burger the next day. And my sister was in that as well. And Whataburger, what I got, most people su su suggested I get the patty melt, which was really, really good. The beef was so tender. The onion rings were just, um, they weren't very crispy. They were just like kind of soggy, but um, but they were still good. Um, and my sister talked about the Dr. Pepper shake was so good. She kept talking about it. I was like, we should have, we both said we should have got Dr. Pepper shake. But we knew we were going to do the snack video from Bucky's after the Whataburger, so we didn't want to have anything that's too sweet, you know. And then we went to barbecue, and that was pretty good. I, I'm not big on barbecue. Um, also, I was trying to compare it to barbecue in California. I didn't really tell much of a difference. Maybe the meat was 
more tender our season but I didn't really see much of a difference but it's like only one barbecue place you know and then she recommended this place called Torchy's Tacos that she has in her area and they make these different kinds of tacos with different meats different sauces just different all these different combinations <clears throat> and that was really really good as well and we did a video outside so my sister and I did three mukbang videos and in the vlog so I had a really good time it was really relaxing I needed it I I really feel refreshed. I'm ready to go. I don't I don't feel as drained. And my sister, she did give me um I was telling her I'm kind of low on energy and she gave me a um a vitamin. I have vitamin iron and vitamin B and I and it really helped I think and I think that I'm gonna start taking that. I'm gonna get that vitamin and maybe that'll help you with my energy too. So yeah, that's how my sister. She's really excited to see me. I think I'm gonna go for five days next time. I just really had a really good time. Very relaxing. Her house is so big. Um, it's crazy. What you can get in Texas, you can never get that in California. I would literally move. I think I would move to Texas. The problem is, I'm so close to my sister and her kids. I, I and mean, I know you guys can say visit, but I, I want more than visit. I want to see them every week. <laughs> it's like that. The second one isn't that spicy, it's interesting. That's very good. Mm. After seeing her house, I just feel like I want a bigger house. I don't have to have it big as her house. Her house is way, way big, full in person. But it makes me just want to just like really focus, visualize, make it happen, let's get a bigger house. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take a break from eating. Um, and I have the, the chocolate cake. I'll take a little, maybe like an hour break, but maybe some hot tea. Um, and I wanna try some dessert too. All right, guys, now we're gonna try the molten chocolate cake. I had to kind of research how to put all these ingredients together. But I think here is some chocolate, a little bit of chocolate right here. But um, you basically put the caramel in here like that. <laughs> Did you put the ice cream? And then you put the chocolate. I might this for about 10 seconds. So you're supposed to put the chocolate like all over like that. Wow. Let's get a close up. All right, guys, it's a close up. It looks so good. Yum. All right, let's try a bite. First time trying this. I should have microwave the cake. I don't know why I didn't do that. Mm. It's really good. Mm. I thought I was craving chocolate cake. <laughs> mm. So there's, there's a camera right there. Mmm. <laughs> I like it a lot with it. So I've seen some people online, like on YouTube, the order this on Uber Eats or delivery app. So it must be a popular item. It's pretty good. It's not as good as the red lobster chocolate cake, but you call that. That was absolutely amazing, but this is really good. Mm. 
Mm. And there's some chocolate inside as well. hour break so i was able to finish editing my day one texas trip i think it's really good it's only eight minutes for the first day one but day two is gonna be a lot longer and day three may not be as much i might do day three and my final day then like might do day three and the final day is one i'm not really sure but i'm just trying to make sure i have enough footage but i like day one it's it's short and simple day two is a long one i think that's when we went to um whataburger and we went to a barbecue place did some walking, filmed some of the dogs. I, I did a lot day two, actually. Yeah. All right, guys, this is really good. I highly recommend this meal, this whole meal. <laughs> it was pretty good. Um, out of all these items, for me, the the sliders, the burgers were my favorite, but everything else was good. A few items were spicy, but I really enjoyed this meal. And thanks again for Jennifer Douglas. She gave me a gift card and I, I finally used the, the last portion of it today. So no more Chili's gift card, but that's okay. It was just, it, I really like Chili's. Um, I, I don't hardly ever go. The food wasn't super hot when I got home, so I really would love to try Chili's at the restaurant. I'd be really good at it. But if they really have good food, it might be cheaper than fast food. I don't know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.